We abandoned Araguay territory as agreed, never to return. It was a just deal. The members of the Grand Council stated that no one witnessed any elf entering or leaving Enodian's tent, and yet some people claimed to have heard strange sounds in the forest around the time he was found dead. But none of this was enough to extinguish the flames surrounding the elvish leader's exalted egos. Their brash and unrelenting demeanour disappointed me deeply. It used to be that only the eldest and wisest of us could rise to the highest ranks as members of the Kalyan in Wesmere. Decisions were made after meticulous deliberation and careful planning, always taking into account our needs, desires and hopes as a civilization. Selfish interests, personal quarrels and such were swept aside for the purpose of our councils. I cannot say that the current state of affairs has taken me by surprise. I had already seen our culture decay towards the end of the previous age. After peace on the continent was secured by the men of Wesmar, our Kalyan was gradually plagued by inexperienced leaders with ambitious plans, leading up to the greatest mistake of all, Wesmere's alliance with Jangor, in anticipation of the fall of Ertia. Still, what happened in the northern country was my fault to some extent. Keeping our kin united under a single banner was supposed to be my mission as well. How could I be so foolish as to allow Galas to delegate leadership to such an unprepared handful? Perhaps they would have fared better with the elf who led them to new prosperous lands in the first place. Episode 1, Scenario 4, Terror at Dusk. Ooh, hissing sounds? That is the sound of those blasted creatures! Um, that's unusual. Could they be behind the death of Enodian? But then... The Chaos Empire must not be in disarray, as we thought. They shall pay for the senseless destruction and bloodshed they caused. Let us get rid of them before they bring more strife to this country. <laughs> right. Defeat all enemy leaders is a straightforward one. Can we open up with the most boring and depressing of all of the uh, soundtrack pieces? Alright, got 25 turns. One of my big three gets killed, I lose. There is an early finished bonus, only 25 turns, so where are the enemy leaders going to be? Alright, one down here, one down here, and one up here. Alright, I'm guessing the best plan is probably push straight north, hold to the west, and see if I can defeat the northern leader relatively quickly but I want units with good line of sight, so I'm going to start the game by recruiting a bat. And that immediately gives me a good deal more. And a linear. We go forward, same with Kesha. And then I've got loads of gold. And uh, it's tempting to kind of <laughs> throw it away, basically. Um, I'm going to have a few darker decks, maybe. Just one or two new ones and some ghosts. And then I'm going to start recalling more advanced units to level up. Because if this is anything like Invasion from the Unknown, quality is going to be more important than quantity, as far as my troops are concerned. Okay, we got drones. One's a razor bird. Can't make it to there. Would be nice. Just one pop to the north. Okay, so there is a an assault drone here. Other than that, it just looks like weak troops, so looks like a push north with 
fast you fast moving units is probably going to do the trick. First things first, I'm going to let the razor bird have a go at Ilinia if it wants to. Gonna get some good units to come with them. I think Wraiths and Shadows initially are gonna be the solution. A Fire Fairy wouldn't be a bad idea as well. She's not very fast though. Decent Dark Adept. I think I'm not done yet with my recruiting, but... Okay, no desire to come and attack me with the Razor Bird then. Alright, and it doesn't look like... No, I, I could... I, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like blue unit, the blue leader has got much more in the tank as far as recruitment is concerned. Alright, well let's get to it then. Oh, you have lost it, haven't you, Mal? Okay, there are some. Kill for Alinea. Gonna stand you. And, oh, okay, there's another bird over there, that's fine. Unfortunately, that means you guys can still move. So I've got to be cautious with my Dark Adepts, with what I do with them. Yeah, because if I don't use this bird to grab a village... If I don't use this bat to grab a village, I want to say... If I instead use it to block, it might get killed, but then... Yeah, this is not exactly a tactically clever formation. I'm just going for raw kill. I'll hold them behind. Maybe put one of them on the house and you go there. Alright, um, how much more do I want to recruit? I think in order to force a quick ending, it might not be a bad idea to recruit quite a lot. If I'm fighting drones, though, I do want them to be ghosts, so I'm going to get a few more ghosts and dark adepts. A few dark adepts, not many. So I'll get some ghosts, I'll recall a ghost that's been good and strong in the past, or maybe even a couple. And I'll recall a good Dark Adept too. And then sure, why not, let's have this sprite as well. 
and I'll see if I can recoup my mana costs. You guys are going to start heading west because I'm going to need to hold off on that flank. And let's see what happens. They could decide they're going to at least some of them are going to try and bombard Malkeshar and try and take him out. But no, yeah, this was always more likely. I forget how good that damn blast attack is against Ghost. And out comes the leader. Okay, um, now. Uh, I should be able to kill the leader this turn, no problem. Can I also kill everything else? You two are too slow. You now need to go east, I think. Sorry, west. Got my west and east the wrong way around. And see if there are any enemies there, which there aren't. Good. Unless they're all invisible. Which they could be. Oh no. Hmm. You will level very soon. the way. Now, can I slow you and not get owned? Yeah. Pretty good. First leader is down. Now I've got to make sure Malkeshar doesn't follow him to the grave. Got a couple of shadows here, got some wraiths. Party, it's fun for the whole family. These guys do blade damage, so I'm less worried about them than I am about the drones. So you can attack a drone. You don't do much damage. Mm. That was pretty good, though. Yeah. And you have an obvious choice, which is to come around and attack this guy. Dead, which is great. I can kill you with a shadow, but if I do that, am I going to lose my shadows? Mm. Yeah, I've only got shadows left to do damage over here. Going to bring you up and get in range. I mean, I could kill you with this ghost. I'd rather lose the ghost if I'm going to lose a weak unit. And then... 
Okay, I can't get behind the razor bird. Um, I can't, I can't flank them anyway. So, oh, I can. I can do this. Mm -mm, no success there. And you. Oh, shadows. What would I. Ugh. Okay, now let's see if, if my shadows get killed after I've leveled them up at great expense. Not quite. Alright, so now we've got some green drones coming in. And some purple drones plus chaos warrior units. Alright, well we did an okay job at uh, clearing out everyone on this northern flank. Can you get a kill? Looks like you might be able to. Woo, alright, you're very close to a level. Someone magic ought to come and deal with this guy too. Maybe you. Mm. Almost a goner, but not quite. I can let my fire fairy finish it off. Or maybe... No, I'll use the fire fairy for bigger game. Could even try and get the kill with the bat. Uh, never try and get the kill with the bat. <clears throat> All right, good. Elenia. There you go. Kill the kill. Um, at this point, strength two is not that brilliant, so as I'm going to start fighting against these drones more often and start fighting against more powerful enemies more often, I think focus one with more ensnare strikes is probably the way to go. Okay, good. You go up here. Nothing can get in range of you there, can it? No, good. What about you down here? Also pretty decent. Then as for over here, I think I'm going to reorient so that everyone is coming from the same direction. How many people can re reach this massif? Only one. And, well, you too. Okay. I'd rather not lose all my villages. Probably won't if I leave some units down here. But let's just instead try and kill them quick. What I don't see is anyone who can do arcane damage, so I think my ghost should be or should be in just about fine, basically. You come up behind. Mal. You need a level 2 kill. Or two level 1 kills. And then one experience. So, okay. Um, 
much as I'd like to use you straight away, I think it would be smarter to have you heal a little bit. My bat died, didn't it? Dang it! I could do with recruiting another bat to go around and grab houses for me. Oh no, the bat didn't die, the bat's still alive. Okay, don't need another bat. Uh, you just wait, and you'll get your health back anyway. And you... Have you here in case anyone needs slowing. Oh yeah, they don't want to fight my ghosts. Oh, they don't want to fight my ghosts, okay. So this is where it's tempting just to come down here and nobble this guy with the Dark Adept and the Ghost. Um, a lot of people can range him, actually. And there's not that much that can... These two are too far away. And these two are only just in range. Oh, and I've got my... I, I forgot about you. You're not going to do much damage, but um, if I can weaken you with the Dark Adept and the, the other Ghost, it might be enough. It might well. Let's try it. Wait. Yep. Well, that was cool. Alright. Now... You would only need three hits. But if you don't get the kill, you'll be very much weakened. So, you do this instead. And maybe, maybe you'll get the kill. No, okay, but you should. There we go, and I've got another fire fairy in the south. Only one person can get in on the Dark Adept. I, su I suspect if they want to gang up, they're going to gang up on the fire fairy. So I could put a ghost in the way, in the time-honoured spirit of putting a monkey wrench in the works. You get a little bit more health before coming into the fray. The trouble with hiring so many ghosts is that oh, I don't really view any of them as expendable. And I probably should. Yeah, if I'm going to win this fight in the south, I'll need one more ghost down there at least. These folks can't reach the south, so I think my strategy right now ought to be to back up a bit, given that Shaxthal don't really care what terrain they're on. And neither do my troops, mostly. don't want to allow them to get my villages, so I'm going to put a wraith on that one. And then just back up a bit here in the centre. They can't see this shadow, that's amusing. I could put Galas there. It looks like only three drones can reach this spot, so it wouldn't be a crazy thing to do. I'm going to have you down here because I don't want this squad to be too weak. I'm going to take this, try and take this fight on two fronts. Okay, see where they go now. 
You're not having my villages, mate. I like those villages. I've got a positive gold income. That won't last long if I don't get more villages. And what I mean by that is, of course, it won't last long if they take my villages. I don't need more villages. I just need the same number of villages. Okay, they're all heading, for the most part, for the north. That's more or less as I predicted. We're in the third dark, third watch of the long dark. Um, so only these four... At the moment, only, only the four at the front and this one are in range to do anything, so it's a good time for me to strike. Well, let's start off down here, because here there's even less. I can put my Fire Fairy in the forest. If I do that, she could get attacked by three units, but I can always bring someone else around to help out. Yep. So that wasn't a virtuoso performance there from the Fire Fairy. So I'll just kill this guy with a Dark Adept if I can. I can, that's good. And then I'm going to put a Ghost in front eventually. So first I'll have a Wraith here to do this. Uh. <laughs> Sound of general indignation and irritation. Uh. Mm. You guys can't reach. You can't reach. If I put someone to the to the north of you, then you'll be able to reach. Yeah. I want to want to keep you guys out of this battle. So going down here makes more sense, actually. Now you survive one more round of melee attack and you will level up to a Wraith. Uh, now only you can attack the Fire Fairy. You're still enough to kill a Fire Fairy. I could bring the Wraith round. Uh, the other... Ghost. Still want to block you from taking villages, so... I'm going to put the ghost here. And this ghost to here. Alright. So that combat remains mostly hermetically sealed, though it is going to be the case that this guy gets in on the action, and this guy can too. So three unit units that can actually fight down here. Alright, northern flank. Malkeshar can go into the, into the trees. Takes a shit ton of damage, but uh, it's the, you know, it's it is what they recommend. And Linnea can try and take out this drone with her thorns attack. Uh, is it worth it? Would it be better to use the mystic fire and then maybe let someone else get the kill? I think so. Yeah. So someone else can come around here. And you are now a dark sorcerer. <laughs> you two will be in on this battle if I advance anymore. I've not got all that much incentive to do so, really, especially with you. I mean, 
a little bit worried about Malkeshar getting ganged up on, but he only really needs he only needs a few. Uh, well, actually, I mean, since you're in the battle no matter you three are in the battle no matter what, and I'll only aggro one person if I move forward. Um, gonna. This might be a one-way mission. Yeah, there we go. Don't want to lose you. Don't really want to lose you, Dark Adept, so... Oh, you useless piece of... Uh. And if I put anyone there, then... Um, ah, poo. Okay, there's a drone over here too. Well, I can always just um, hop out and uh, use Galas to recruit some more troops. You come round here. Galas, you stay where you are because you're on a village. And you should come over here. I'm gonna bring you south because I think things are gonna get uh, things are gonna get ropey in the south. And for, for now you're invisible, so that helps. Can anyone reach that area anyway? We'll see which way they go. I can still bring you back north if, uh, if the need arises. And hopefully I'll be able to push in in a little bit of a pincers movement. Hopefully these guys are just going to stand here and uh, melee attack the Dark Adept, who will then survive. That would be the, the optimal outcome. Uh, well, almost perfect. They blocked the, uh, the purple guy from coming in. Okay, north is looking much worse than south, so let's see how we can play this. If you miss, you will probably die. Maybe I can set up a better kill for you. You're quite badly wounded, so I'm going to let you try and juice up a bit. Well, that didn't work. You attack here. Nice. Alright, now this should hopefully, fingers crossed, bring home the bacon. Oh, God. <laughs> oh god, okay. Um shit 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 shit. Um
I really don't want you to die. Uh, unless you get, unless I can kill this, unless I can kill this headhunter, it's it's kind of a moot point. So let's see if I can do that then. Oh well, something worked out right. And now you. Unfortunately, this is putting my shadow in a bad position. Good. So then, yeah, you just stay where you are, I guess. And I can't, I don't have much option other than to push forward on the front line here. Can my bat take out this guy? Yes, that makes a nice change. Alright, um, who's Mal going to go for? Someone tough. Pushing forward here is horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, I will get a lot of damage taken if I push forward here. Um, so I think it might, be, it might actually be a better strategy to try and play more conservatively. But not with Malkeshar, because he's a beast. Alright. Anyone touches him, he gains a level. I think no one wants that. You don't want that, do you? He's holding down the south, so could bring out Galas over here and slow this guy. Or should I just run home? Should I just get? Yeah, I'm gonna need. Am I gonna need more units? Probably, probably could do with a handful more ghosts. I think. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to save up as much money as I'd have liked from this scenario. Okay. While the, the last scenario was an absolute piece of cake, this one is more challenging. Probably because I haven't played it very well. But such is life. Any recallable ghosts? No, I've got them all already. And we're in the third watch of the long dark. I mean, there's almost enough of them. There probably are enough of them that they could suicide on Malkishar and still, after he levels, still kill him. Uh, should I go into the sand with my Dark Sorcerer? Uh, no, I'll put a ghost out there. Oh, okay, there's another drone coming in. And now the only concern is that they can surround Mal and that my forest fairy. Also potentially is in a wheat is in a, a ropey spot. I'm gonna put you there. A few of you can can get round. Just gonna put the forest fairy here and hope they find better targets. They won't though, will they? Only two people can attack her. And that will stop Malkeshar getting mugged from five sides instead of four. Still not too hopeful. Here we go, here we go. There's the level. And now the bat goes down. Oh, 
Okay, they're not bothering with Malkeshar, at least the green player isn't. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, I forget that you can poison forest fairies, actually. It's one of those things that just doesn't seem like relevant information, because the um, their advancements can't be poisoned. Okay, gonna need another bat. We'll recruit one. Getting a bit uh, a bit battered on this flank. Uh, just gonna have to hope I can clear a few things up. I think I really need to kill these big bad purples because they're just worse. Uh, hmm. Mystic fire. That was pretty crappy. That was good. Can you not, not in one go? Zap out of existence. I can make a dent in these guys, at least. We got Galas. Galas can go into the forest. Slow this guy. That was rubbish. And then we've got ghosts, and we've got a shadow who can come back and help out. God, they're in the ends. Good. And I'm going to trap this guy in place. So he can't come out and kill the shadow. Neither can this guy, but these two can have a go if they... You, you're too slow as well. Ah, oh, excellent. All right, brilliant. You go onto the house, get yourself healed. And then I think we're good up there. Down here, we've got one Countum Chaos Warrior. I'm gonna risk death. With my most experienced wraith, maybe this is an unwise choice. <coughs> this guy is a bit tanky. Selling the fire fairy. <coughs> and for the coup de grace. Okay, and your poison's gone too. Excellent. Yusung Yan. This wraith can head back over here and get one of the enemy's villages while it's at it. Okay, this doesn't look too terrible. Okay, they did poison Alinea, which is always irritating. Maybe... The, well, let's see. <clears throat> so... First things first, you get yourself healed. I do not want to lose a good Wraith at this stage. You can head out, see what's coming. You're also doing pretty well, so you can go down here, maybe head towards that village. The green player is going to have a fair bit of money. 
Oh, there, 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 there they are, the, the players. Okay. You sit tight. Who wants the experience? Maybe you could have. Oh no, you, you, yeah, you have it. All right, so the Mal. sort of axe on the ground there. Um, presumably that's only going to be usable by a, someone who's got an axe. Entry random axe in a forest. Well, fine. Um, who can I who can I recruit or recall with an axe? This Revenant, he's going to take a few turns to get there, though. But yeah, why not? And you can get healing and heal up this ghost at the same time. You, meanwhile, head straight down and increase my field of vision. You also should get some healing. Have you got the Sylvan Spark? No, you haven't. Okay, so in that case, you go back and then come forward later on. <sighs> All right, six turns. I don't think I'll have won by then. the daytime now, so my undead units are going to be at a disadvantage. Max damage round there. Shame you can't reach a forest, Elenia. Doesn't matter. Flanking maneuver. Gotta not let my troops get too long and straggly. 
I'm going to send the bat down here, and it's going to do. It's going to scout out the purple leader. Presumably, green leader is another drone. Yeah, there's, there's the green leader. And purple is a law keeper. Alright, this is who's calling the shots. I'm gonna need to be careful with my ghosts down there. Anyone who goes into those trees is going to be in trouble. Let's see if we can get some backstabbing. Yep. And then let's try and bait, bait this leader out into the open with a weakened ghost. If it's a dumbass, it will come out and fight. Come out and fight, dumbass! You're not going to do any good if you go charging in there against the bad big. So, you go get the healing, you move as far as you can because you're going to need to. Still takes you five turns to get up there. And you can't quite reach Elenia, so you go and get some health from the house. Same with you, actually. Okay, so everyone who's not a ghost, head rapidly southwards. I could even lure you out with this Dark Sorceress this turn, but there's no real advantage in doing so. I'm just going to plonk you down. And you... can go up here and next turn hopefully check out the axe. Okay. Worked like a charm. So now... This axe glimmers with a powerful otherworldly aura. This seems an unusual place to find an enchanted weapon like this, but surely its previous owner doesn't have a use for it anymore, right? A weapon like this could only possibly be used by someone well-versed in axe combat. Either that, or one of our undead minions, I suppose. So who here is well versed in axe combat? It's sure as hell not you, Gallus. It's not Elinia, and it's not Malkesha, so... I guess it's one of our undead minions. Need to not win for a few more turns in order to allow... I think we need four more turns in order to get that axe. Might, let's, let's hope that it's worth it. Hmm, <clears throat> okay. Thirty percent chance to hit, do I hear you say? Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, can't quite finish the job, but that's fine. You are not quite fast enough to get in on the battle. What about you? There we go, one leader to go. Let's get some villagers. Alright, we're all villaged up. Garth is being extremely slow. It probably is going to take me four turns to get this bugger to come out of his little hidey hole. And you can uh, go up here in case... in case in case. What's the purple player doing? He doesn't seem to have recruited any troops. And he's had gold, because he's got... Well, he's only got a few houses, but... He, he does have houses, so... I don't know. Is he recruiting a ton of invisible troopers or something? I guess we'll find out. Oh, poor old Alinea. You got really whacked there, didn't you? Oh... No kill. Who wants the experience? I'm going to give it to a wraith. You can't quite reach. You guys can, though. How far can you reach? You can't reach the turret. That's good. Well, I can do this. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Not yet, not yet, not yet. When the end comes, the end will be very final. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Okay. So close. If you want to come out of your base and zap a ghost, ready for me to kill you next turn, you know what? Well, I'm not going to stop you. If you want to suicide on Malkesha, I'm not going to stop you. I mean, you wouldn't suicide, but...
Oh, that was too far. Too far, too far. Ah, oh, I can't undo it. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is what happens. Oh, well, you can't die either. Um, I don't think you'd be the one to be attacked. Nor would you. So I can put you there. And really, the ghosts and the shadows and, uh, and that lot, they're all just icing on the cake at this point. You could get in there and get a level, but then you might die. this axe do? Whoa! Okay, plus two melee attack and extra 30% arcane fire and impact damage. That is very nice for one of these guys to have. Okay, so we've got a, a revenant now with a much better melee attack and much better resistances. Let's look at your resistances. They're kind of weird, I mean um, you're sort of hopeless to arcane so now you're a bit better, I guess. Very asymmetric resistance is undead. Okay, time to move in. Stick around, you'll be useful later on when I'm short on gold. I'm gonna just milk you for experience a bit. Five four at forty percent or eight two at seventy percent? Mm. Oh god, my maths is not up to scratch. I think I trust the Wraith more. Oh, that was, that was very nice. Alright, so then I'm gonna let this shadow try and get the kill. Don't die yet, vermin! We want some answers before crushing your useless skull against the rocks! And do you believe really that I would speak? <laughs> you can torture me as much as you want, but you won't get anything from me! Stupid. Let him. Oh. That bastard Hecuba! He and the Iron Triumph must be behind this. But what are they trying to accomplish? They want to take revenge on us, and our kind, after Argan's death, of course. It seems that as long as their cult exists, so will the Chaos Empire. This was the last one, and it doesn't seem like there are any more groups coming here. Let's not worry a lot about them. These pathetic weaklings are nothing compared to the hordes we fought before. Let's proceed to Tirigas now, quickly. Why don't we go after their leaders and put an end to this stupid war now? No, that would be a highly reckless choice. We don't know what kind of enemies we might be facing other than Malhecuba. You have not forgotten our last encounter with him, have you? We are at a disadvantage without more information about them. Their leaders, their weapons, their plans. 
This is why we must find Zothanov first. Very well, then. Okay, got a really reasonably decent bonus there, 149 gold. And so let's just look at the statistics. Um, we lost a bunch of weak undead and uh, more ghosts than I would have liked. But uh, oh well, um, now at least, I mean, I can always recruit more of those at the very least. And there's, there's so, <laughs> so many powerful undead units floating around now. Um, once I'm fighting something other than drones, I'll bring some skeletons back out to play. Won't that be fun? In the meantime, you can like, or you can comment, or you can subscribe, or you can do all three. And I will hopefully see you next time for Scenario 5.